Hello everybody, I'm Chris and today we're going to be looking at Voltage Modular from Cherry Audio which is a suite of modular plugins and effects. Uh, it's got MIDI input, it's got audio input, it can be used as an audio effect, um, you've got auxiliary outputs to send elsewhere to external gear, you can also record uh, audio as you're playing and each patch has its own macro selection of knobs which can use MIDI Learn to get everything hooked up together in a sort of way that you might not normally have with Modular. So here we are, I've got my MIDI keyboard and uh, this is the macro control which is changing the filter cutoff on the filter module. And there's a few nice uh, features for this software. For example, you can make the patch cables transparent. You can change the patch cables colors. And you've also got infinite patch cables, uh, which you don't have in the physical world. You can also open presets. There are a number of presets and different packs that you can purchase from Cherry Audio. There is a free version for it, and then there's patch upgrades that you can purchase, and you can see everything's categorized in the, in the normal ways you'd expect. For me, the strength of Voltage Modular is the synthesis and the synthesizers. Um, there's some really, really nice poly sort of stuff, and there's lots of emulations of other classic gear, uh, which we'll look at later. There are also drum machines built in, so you can make your own drum patterns and percussion sections. This one for me, very similar to the re-drum, out of reason, which is no bad thing. And you can see each module is being triggered by the track that relates to it. It's sort of an 808 style drum beat. There are also sequences built in for it, so you can sequence audio and um, you have lots of options in terms of making music here. Many of the patches also have a variation. So you'll see there that that collection of sounds has a variation and it's a different pattern, which is a really nice sort of save state feature that you don't necessarily get with modular as well. There are also nice sort of sound effects sections and it can be used as a VST um, effect. Um, as well as being a VST instrument. You can also change the way that it looks. There are a few different skins and um, various settings for your computer. Um, for the CPU settings, for example, you can change how many threads it's going to process. You can change how the interface looks. You can affect the, how the cables are looking and various other audio settings. So this is uh, one particular module that you might recognize, the Emulator 2 software version that's within this called Sampler 1. So this is a sample playback engine and um, you can see there's an arpeggiator connected to this, various other things. And that's not the last of the replications. We also have a Juno module. which has all of the elements that the, uh, the Juno has, including the uh, fabled choruses, which are replicated to some degree. And uh, you can process through that chorus as well, just like, um, just like it's an external effect, which is quite a nice feature. And then here's the same module with a little bit of digital reverb on it. For me personally, I think the, the poly synths are where the strengths lie for voltage modular. Um, there's a lot you can dig into as well. You can buy individual units. You can pretty much build whatever you, you imagine uh, using modular with the software. Uh, if you are one of our Patreon supporters, uh, you'll receive an extended version of this video. Uh, flicking through uh, some of the best presets that I've found. One thing that would add to the purchase packs is, is if all of them had pitch bend and modulation, which they don't all do, only some 
packs that you buy have that assigned. So here we are in the main section and um, you've got a library on the left hand side which you can pop out which has got all of the uh, different modules, all of the different types of modules. Uh, it's quite an extensive list, you can see the images update uh, as it connects to the internet and um, you have a list here of all of them which at the moment is 831 different modules and you can see your purchase modules in the purchase tab there of the store which is really useful and then you have a selection of categories of different types of modules which you can throw into the mix Okay, let's start building a little module, nothing too high tech. So this is the ARP2600 module and you can see by double clicking in the socket you can expand how many outputs it has. So there's our ARP2600 voice. What we're going to do is hook it up to, let's get an LFO and just double click that to drop that in. We'll connect that to the mod wheel. So the frequency of the LFO is going to be changed by the mod wheel, which I'm going to send to the first oscillator, Pitch FM. And I'm going to increase the, uh, the difference that the mod wheel makes on it. Increase it a bit more. then duplicate this and also send it to the AR of the second oscillator. And you can see it's a very easy interface to use. It's very familiar I suppose for people who use modular. Uh, I'm not a modular user. But uh, let's throw in a chorus. So. Um, the chorus will attach. You can see we can disconnect the cables there quite easily. We'll attach this mono. Yeah, it's a mono signal. Let's just attach the mono and then the stereo output. And then we have a nice chorus effect. Whilst turning the mod wheel too. Maybe let's, uh, I'll just add a macro, let's add a macro. So um, these are the macros up here. If we right click on the module, you can click perform assign and then to knob one and straight away it will be hooked up. And that's the chorus speed. So there's a quick overview of the battery. Yeah, so there we have it. This is Voltage Modular from Cherry Audio. Um, it starts off with a free version, there is a free version. Um, I'm running this standalone, you can run it as a VST instrument or VST effect. However, I found CPU usage was quite variable. Some patches were fine, some weren't, so I'm using this in the standalone mode, which is great because you can also record the audio output and um, maybe use it as a little design space. Um, I would say this is a really useful entry-level uh, sound design tool. There are better emulations of these units available. And uh, I also think visually, for me personally, uh, it's probably I'm doing a more entry-level user. Um, the alternatives really to this software is Reactor, uh, VCV Rack as well as another one to investigate, which is a very sort of similar setup, although probably not quite as colourful and fun looking as this one. Okay, there we have it. That is Voltage Modular from Cherry Audio. Um, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.